had a couple of projects on the go this year and one of them is about to begin. This week I received my parcel in the post and so I'm gonna show you what's in it and explain what's gonna be happening and the videos will start very, very soon. This year I set myself a challenge to find the best way to make homemade lipstick. And so in this box I have so many tubes of lipstick. I don't know if you can even call it a tube of lipstick since it's empty. And so they're just really basic. It's like a clear tube, the little lid, and then just a roller to push the mechanism up. I looked at a few different ways to make lipstick already and one of the main ingredients used is sheer butter. So I have some here in a little tub. It's actually a lot thicker than I, than I expected. I'm really looking forward to using all of these. So yeah, I have a little tub of sheer butter. I have 100 millilitres of that. And this is supposedly like the base product for making a lipstick. How it's gonna work is that I'm gonna make a lipstick either from a recipe that already exists or from trial and error and changing doses and making my own. I'm then gonna wear the lipstick for a day, so hopefully the color will look okay. And I'm gonna test it on foods, drinks, see how well it holds, how long it holds, and lots of different things like that. I'm still kind of preparing the criteria, so please be patient. The thing that most people look for in a lipstick tends to be how well it stays on and how long it stays on. So these are gonna be the two main items that I'm gonna be looking for when I'm making the different lipsticks. And at the end, hopefully, I'll have one that wins hands down and you can then make that recipe to your heart's content at home. I also bought some almond oil, which, strangely enough, doesn't really have much of a smell to it. I was kind of expecting a sweeter. Oh, it does kind of. Smell that. Did you get a whiff? I also got some beeswax. Now, most of these actually have some little indications on them already. So it says you can use it for candles, lipsticks, creams, things like that. And it also gives you an idea of what kind of a dose you need for each thing. So hopefully I will be able to make a lipstick that actually turns out solid and is not a runny mess. The last items I have are all to make colour. I'm not a very good artist. People who know me will know that I cannot draw to save my life. So I'm really hoping that the mixing of colours works out well because otherwise I'm going to end up with a bright blue lipstick. So I got myself some beet juice in a little glass bottle. This is to give your lipstick colour and it also apparently smells quite nice that one. Whereas these supposedly do not smell. So these ones are powders. So I have some brown oxide. If I that wants to show up. Pink oxide, that colour, Italian pink oxide, which seems a bit red, and some blue oxide. So I just really wanted to share the opening of the box with you and hopefully it'll work out well and I won't end up with a dodgy lipstick. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.